Hello everyone, welcome back to Ocean Block. Uh, I've changed some of my audio settings. Uh, I've, there was a my first comment in my episode six video where yeah it was mentioned that my audio was pretty low. Uh, one of my friends actually uh, commented to me IRL saying that it sounds really 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 low. So I've upped it a little bit hopefully this is a bit better uh i've got pretty strong fans on my on my pc so i had to do some fiddling to make sure you don't hear those and some of the stuff that i did made it sound like i was a robot so i'm hoping it doesn't sound like that i have tested it quite a bit uh, and this is the best i could come up with uh, i've got a compressor microphone if you guys know what that means but uh, yeah, it's just a cheapy one I bought ages ago, and I've been. Yeah, this is this is the uh, this is the settings I think I'm going to go with for now. Uh, I might work on getting getting a new microphone at some point, and not having it on my desk. What I did was I taped it to the back of my monitor, so I'm talking directly at you guys. <laughs> But yeah, I think let's crack on with today's episode. Today I said I wanted to get into compact machines. Which I think just needs compressed cobblestone. And we can make that quite easily. Double compressed. What was this one? That one's double compressed. Double compressed. Triple compressed. And that one's triple compressed as well. I want to go for this maximum store oh, actually thinking about it I need to get some ender pearls so I can make these eyes of ender I do have some blaze powder uh, I sifted a bunch of uh, netherrack crushed netherrack uh, so if we oh, it's not what I wanted I wanted this one I uh, didn't want that either I wanted this one so I did do this uh, I got some netherrack just by, uh, where is it, so this in here, I made some basalt because the basalt, how do I just look at the normal basalt, is it right, yeah, there we go, so I made some of this, you can make that with the liquid mob soles and some lava, so if you just set up a an automated lava farm, uh, you can use that with what, what the jars called that jar so these jars here so the normal like glass jars set one of those up with an automator automate it give it i think these can only do eight buckets of lava so i did eight buckets which was eight cobblestone turned it into lava and then 16 of the Mob souls. Uh, where is my mob souls? Yeah, see, I've got tons from the uh, from the the little farm thing that I had set up just down there. So yeah, with with these, you can just set it up, make some basalt. Basalt when you sift it. That's there it is, basalt. So when oh, it needs to be crushed, crushed basalt. Rush, crush basalt. You stick that through sluice. I actually did it with the gold mesh because it gives you more netherrack than this one. This one gives you a better chance of getting the debris scraps, but I was going specifically for netherrack. I didn't want to do the uh, the whole redstone and lava thing because. Well, redstone's a bit of a pain to get right now. So that's how I got my my blaze powder. It's in one of these chests here. I just I picked up everything from this area except that one bit of dirt, and I chucked it all in these chests here. There's a lot of them. So yeah, I think the first thing that we're gonna do is head down here. I need to put some. 
uh, some ladders on this side as well. But the first thing I'm going to do is, I think at the front of the boat right here, I'm going to wall it off and uh, what was, it's not cursed earth, it's blurst. No, what is it? At mini you yeah okay so so we've got cursed earth which is one of these wither roses i'm not sure we can make that this blessed earth was only an iron block of iron which we could do easy enough so we want to make this blurst which is oh that's not too bad okay so we can do that that's just an iron a stick and a diamond what else can we do with these Huge chest plate, magical egg. What the hell was that? Grey lapis. It's okay. All these infused things. Laser hub. Oh, we've got to make that at some point. Takes a netherite and a beacon and whatever these things are. What's this? Okay, yeah, this is from Utils mod. We're going to have to make a bunch of stuff from this mod. It looks looks super interesting to me. Uh, but first things first, we're going to need... I think I, I'm, I've got some diamond chunks upstairs. So I'm going to chuck that through the... Uh, through this thing here. What does it say? Hmm. So let me go find that. I'll put it through... Here, I'll get everything we need for the blurst, blurst, earth, and we'll set up a little mob farm. Okay, so I've got everything we need. Uh, I'm going to do the crafting with you guys. Uh, so, let's just make this ingot here. I think this stuff does spread. Oh, and there's a quest as well. Okay, well, we're going to claim that quest. And a yellow laser. Okay, we don't need that. Uh, I did somewhere in these chests, I did make a mob masher from mob grinding utils. Oh god, it's gonna... It's gonna take me a while to find it. All of my stuff is just chucked in here. I even chucked some in here, because... Uh, what's that? that? That looked like nether netherite to me. I was like, what? When did I make that? Um, it's not in here. I definitely picked it up. Did I put it in my bag? I did not. Okay, I'm going to go find this and then we'll be back. There we go. Found it. It was in this uh, this chest here with all my... The, the last thing I ripped down was, uh, was the little passive mob farm over here. Uh, I did... I did use this... Uh, just because killing them manually was taking like time and they were spawning quicker than I was like killing them off uh, especially with this just iron sword so uh, I spent spent a couple of diamonds on this how do I make this and a ton of iron because that's one iron block it's two iron blocks and then all of these are you know six seven eight nine so there's Basically an iron box worth here. So it's two, four, five, and then, yeah. So there's a lot of iron, and I did use some of the diamonds that we got to, to make this. Uh, I've got the block of redstone here, because I just chucked that underneath. Uh, to be fair, we could probably use a lever, but I think once we place this down, we're not going to turn it off again. Because what we'll do is we'll just stop things from spawning on this. Uh, if I'm correct in thinking, if this is exposed to any sort of light, it stops working or it, it disappears, turns back into dirt. Uh, but someone did say in someone else's video that you can just chuck some water on it. So what I'll do is I'll have up the front here somewhere probably... I know, one of these here, I'll put some dispensers. I'll put a dispenser down that will cover this whole area. It's only going to be small because we don't need it to be too, too big. Uh, 
because we, we don't want that much stuff. Uh, we'll set up a better one, hopefully in a compact machine if we can. Uh, it did say, as as I said in the last episode, the, the one before, it does say here that hostile mobs only spawn in the deep warm ocean in the overworld. So it's saying in the overworld means we probably can't set this up in a compact machine because the compact machine has its own like dimension. So I think this episode we'll just crack on with this. We need to take the light out of here as well. Uh, I did get my furnace out because we need to set this up. Uh, let's put that there because we need some dark glass and there's loads of oh, as you saw I had it already opened here but there's there's a couple of uh, couple of things in this that give you dark glass which just like blocks light so we can have a torch here in front of it and it will block light from going into it stopping this from turning into normal dirt otherwise okay, what was this one okay that one's quite good because it's just one coal the ethereum ethereum ethereal this one is yeah that's that's a bit out of our price range right now mini utils hmm mini utils has got it as well the black guy is really easy because we've got all the squid I may I may do both and then try and figure out yeah I'll try and figure out which one I like the look of the best cool right I'll be right back once I've smelted up a bunch of sand and I'll do a little example for you guys okay so I've got enough glass to make one of each I think it's just like this uh, I'm just gonna waste these because I just want to see what they look like so this one I think it's got nice connected textures so I might go with that one but let's see this one. Oh, this has also got connected textures I do like that double border there oh okay, yeah I'm gonna go with this one because not because uh, the black dye is easier than the charcoal wherever that is but because I like the look of it Oh, another thing is, when I broke this, you get it back. You don't get the other one back, so I can use this a little bit easier. I wonder if it does block light, though. If I do this, and then oh, I'm going to have to make how many? Three. Uh, so it's eight, 16, 20. I need 26 to cover this area. Uh, 21 because I'm probably going to put along here yeah I'm going to put some wood along here just so it fits in a little bit better maybe I'll put wood up against the side here because that will also block light because it's a full block um, what we do need is I, I made some fans actually I got fans as a uh, as a reward I think I got two sets at one point uh, so I'll have to find those and I'll set those up and then on the outside yeah on the outside I'll put I'll put the what do you call it the, the light levers to to turn them off and on uh, along with the dispenser so I'll go I'll go set the fans up now I'll, I'll smelt up some more glass so then make some more of this dark glass and when we'll be back I'll I would have finished this hopefully there we go so this is my plan I've got the masher set up it, it doesn't have any upgrades in it for now because I don't think we need them we're only going for a couple of ender pearls uh, I did chop out this here my plan is to go underneath once this is all set up Put one cursed blurst, blurst earth right here. Cover it up from the bottom. I'm hoping that means it would spread. I don't think these corners are gonna be too much of an issue. It might be up here, it might be a bit of an issue, but 
Now we'll deal with that if that happens. Uh, what I am going to do is put in this uh, width upgrade. So right now, if I was to turn this on, it would only push me along this axis here in this block. If I was here, it wouldn't do anything to me. Um, if I put the width upgrade, I think one would move it to here. So if I was in this one, it would also push me forwards. Two put me to here and it would push me forwards. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill in this bit here just in case they get caught on this fan. Do the same. I knew that was going to happen. As soon as I as soon as I started walking, I was like, I bet I'm going to fall in that hole. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get back down there. Cool. One thing that is uh, slightly annoying is I put this horseshoe step assist thing in. So now whenever I try and go down here, because I haven't got a ladder right here, I, uh, I end up like just walking straight over the hole. It's, it's just a minor annoyance, it's not too bad. I'm going to do this. Oh, I also want to do this, just to mark it off. Um, yeah, why not? I'll do something like that. I'll put the dark glass right here. In fact, let's, let's, just, let's just do it. Having to use shift everywhere now because of uh, that horseshoe thing. I do this. It does look dark in there. F7 will show me. So it is completely dark. Let's turn that back off. I think that uses a little bit more like CPU. Uh, don't quote me on that though. Let's go down here. Pop that down, cover that up. Uh, this is where my my lever, lever, whatever you want to call it, sat. I don't think it pushes through blocks. So uh, we'll just have a bit of a munch. Okay. Oh, we're already getting stuff spawning. That's good to see. So I need to put the, the levers, so that one, two, three, and then down one. We can do that. One, two, three, and then down one. So this one here. And I wonder if I can just stick it. What was it? It was here. On the other side as well. One, two, three, and then down. So let's see. Already hear some mobs dying. I have got an absorption hopper on me, so we can go and grab all of that experience and all the things that make the world. It is spreading, you can see it. Oh, you might not be able to see it, but there's that one there, that one there. Now all I'm going to do is put this here. Okay. Oh, not a little shell. Where did that come from? That no, doesn't say. Oh, enderpearl, give me anything? Nothing. Brilliant. Let's have a look at the area. I'm going to move this. Where's this? North. Plus, plus, plus. Sweet! That's just in that area there. Is that actually giving us bliss mode? Yeah, because that's... Yeah, these two here from hostile mobs. Not as quick as I thought it would be. Why is that not... Oh, I moved it the wrong way. I saw the, I saw the outline here and I thought that was the... I actually want it minus... So now, yeah, now it's in this area here. I'll turn that area off. Okay, now we're just waiting. I did look into. I didn't set up the dispenser either. I mean, oh well. 
I was looking into chests earlier and we do have the classic iron chest mod. So I could go off and make... I might make a diamond chest. Although we do have the crate, crate mod. Oh, great. So we can make a big crate. We haven't made a large crate yet and I think that is... Where is it? Uh, it's been storage. Sorry, zoomed in for me. Yeah, this large crate, we get a random reward for it. So probably, yeah, I'm gonna probably make one of those crates, stick it underneath this, and we'll be back when, when that's done. So there we go, I've got the large crate. Here's a quest. I've been using this bit here to grow trees. Um, I quite like the big tree at the front here, so I'm gonna leave it. There's this one, there you go, bring that one up. So if we pop this downstairs, this is a massive crate by the way. Did not think it would be this big. Uh, we've already got em ender pearls, which is nice. That's what we were looking for. Oh, oh look at that. Should probably set up a draw system or something. I do like the amount of ender pearls. Ender pearls is always a pain for packs for me. This is loud as well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get away from this. Uh, let's go up here. Oh my god! So we needed to. So there's the blaze powder I had. So stick this like this. And make sure I don't click them. And now we're getting back to compact machines. Compact. So, what do we not have? We need the book and some glass panes. Oh god, you, you can see how messy I was moving this over. Uh, this boat did take me ages to build, by the way. Uh, I think it was. I want to say, yeah, I think it was about four hours, four hours overall, just because I was also trying to figure out what it should look like. This thing here was, I like this back portion, makes it look a bit more boat-like, and these trees were from the raft let's play that I haven't done yet. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll release that at some point. What was I looking for? Books. Uh, let's cut that back out. Uh, chuck these in here. We don't need these anymore. We might need sticks. Do we need sticks for this? No, we don't. I was up uh, leather. Do we have any any good way of making books other than with paper? Now nah, you need paper. Okay. That right. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. So we should have a sugar cane lying around here somewhere and we can grow that up. There it is, yeah, perfect. So I think instead of going to set this up somewhere else, like down here somewhere, maybe we should get into What's it called? Botany Pots. I do like Botany Pots. It's just like bonsai trees or whatever it was called from back in the day. Uh, I have used it in other other games that I've, other mod packs that I've played. So we did make some clay. Oh, hello. A load of feathers from last time. Uh, we don't want to turn it all into that, so we need five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Why did I set my... Let's grab this. Let's move it over down here so we don't have to listen to all of those mobs dying. So chuck those in there, and then one, two, three. We'll need a hopper. 
should move these ladders as well so I can get get down over here as well. She let, let's just do that now. Have some wood. Make some ladders. It's a lot of ladders. <laughs> Where's this going to take us? Ah, oh, of course. Right by one of these. I'm going to go right in the middle here. Makes sense why I put this one on the outside, because it's between the two. Uh, yeah, I think that'll be okay. Put that there. Put it on this side as well, uh, eventually. That's done there. We need to make one, two, three. One of these, and we were going to make a hopper. Unless we have one. Yeah, we've got one here. Whilst we're here, let's. Okay, we've already got we've already got one drawer. I'm going to take those off my action bar just in case I end up clicking them. Perfect. A lot of up and down in this. Let's do one of those. One of those, and then you can combine it like this. Cool. So that is our bonsai. Bonsai. Just do that there for now. Check this on the top. Sorry, loud car going past. Uh, okay, they're gone. Good. Uh, we do need some sand, so let's let's crack on with that. Uh, get some dirt. One and two, and all my tools are in here. And with that, we can turn it into snad. Uh, I like this mod because it's it plays off like a an old like misconception about so you can grow sugarcane on sand or dirt and people said if you put it on sand it grew quicker which wasn't the case but then someone made a mod where it does grow quicker and that just gives us one so we'll wait for that to give us three and we'll probably leave this to be fair uh maybe we move it at some point down here or actually what we were here for in the first place compact machines Move it into a nice compact machine. Right, I'll be right back when, when we've got enough for this book. There we go, got enough for this book. Do this, this and this. And there's our personal shrinking device, which is also a quest. Did not know it was a quest, where is it? Storage? Oh no, this is from the crate earlier. So what did we get? Stone matter, brilliant. <laughs> Miscellaneous. Oh, cool. So it's going to get a load of big iron broad axe. Isn't the broad axe the one that just fells trees? Hasty. Cool. Uh, let's go try that, actually. I'm not going to do it on this big tree because yeah, it does. Sweet. Uh, not sure we're gonna need this because we've got our super awesome punchy punchy. But nice reward, nevertheless. Okay, now we've got the personal shrinking device, we can actually just get into this. And we need block of iron to give us eight. And we need six. Twelve. Twenty-four, thirty plus eight. So we need thirty-eight. So three crafts of this. Right, one, two, three. I've got my iron on me. Is that enough for three blocks? We're just about is. Whoa. Let's make this. That wasn't a quest. I think they want you to make, yeah, make all of this stuff. 
So what we're gonna, oh, we can go down here. What we're gonna need is to grab, oh God, yeah, inventory's a, a thing. We're gonna need to grab loads of cobble, compress it down. So what we're gonna need, we're gonna need, yeah, a lot of cobble. So I'll compress all of this down and I'll get enough to make every single one of these compact machines. Uh, and hopefully we can get to the maximum one straight away. It's going to be a lot of cobble. Oh. So this is going to be my life for a little while so I can get the one, two, three, four. So, so I can get the four triple compressed and then I need a lot of double compressed as well. Uh, but all I'm doing is going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then in this, you can actually press shift K and it does all of them at once, except for one, because it leaves one for each. What that's actually doing is it's compressing. So the stack that's here, the stack that's here, so on and so on, leaving the one behind. Uh, and I don't know if that is that going to be enough. Okay, okay, so that's double compressed. Oh, okay. So I might not be here for too long thinking about it. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back when I've got all of them. So there's my triple compressed. I've got those now. Uh, I'm just waiting for this to generate even more because I hope I drained it. So once I've got. All of them, I'll be right back for real this time. Right, there we go. I think that's everything we need. Let's just start making them, I suppose. We want to make sure we put them in our inventory each time because then we get the quest for it. Oh, it's taking over the screen a little bit. That's that one. That's that one. And finally, there is our huge maximum compact machine. Uh, plonk. Now we can't actually get in there until we have our personal shrinking device. But once we go in, oh, hey, look at that. This is probably where I've set up all of my sieves. Oh God, what are they called? Sluice, sluices, these things. Um, you can have these item tunnels and redstone tunnels. They used to be like a power tunnel, uh, but yeah, I think they removed that. I'm not exactly sure how you make these. It doesn't really say. Uh, I'll find that out, but yeah, we can make uh, an item tunnel. If we can't make an item tunnel, we may have to go ender, oh, what's it called? Is it just ender? Yeah, use one of these uh, these ender chests from ender storage. So not not the one that you get in Minecraft, but the the oh, we need blaze rods. What's the best way of getting blaze rods? Red barrels. Oh, we're gonna have to go to the Nether. Blaze head. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to the Nether next episode, I think, to get some of these chests going. Uh, I quite like having these these drawers here, so I might fill this bottom bit with drawers. Who knows? Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, if that sounds like a good idea. Cool. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there for the, this episode. We actually got quite a lot done. We got the uh, mob farm over there done. We've got compact machines, like I've been saying and botany pots. Uh, before we go, uh, I always forget to do this. Let's uh, let's just accept all of these quests here. What do we get? Black hole tank, simple black hole tank. Okay, saltpeter seeds, mob crusher. Don't really need that because we've got the mob grinding utilities. Gargantuan flux storage. That'll be really useful when we get into uh, portable power. Range add-on tier 6. We could actually use that with Mob Crusher and use the Mob Crusher instead. And that's really cool for when we get into power. 
Sweet. Uh, you know, actually, what I will do is let's go check on this before we leave. Oh, oh, we got a trident. I've never used a trident before, but maybe we can repair this up and give it a go. Lots of stuff. End of pearls, love it. Ooh, okay, all right. Well, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you next time. Bye.